Yo guys, what is good? Today we're gonna to be learning the effect that you just saw in the intro. Now I'm gonna be working in DaVinci Resolve 18.6, and this can be done in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. We are gonna be learning the shine text effect. You can use this on icons, texts, really anything that it comes to. Before we get started, I wanna say that there is a free .drp file in the first link in the description. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you can get that, and then we'll get started on the actual tutorial. So once you click the first link in the description, you're gonna be greeted with my website. All you have to do is hit all products, and scroll down till you see the shine text effect. You're gonna click it and you're gonna add it to your cart. As you can see, it's completely zero dollars and that's it. All you have to do is install the file and you're good to go. Now, the only requirement that you need to have is just Magic Zoom and Magic Zoom is free. And if you don't have Magic Zoom, then you can just take it off. All right guys, so in here in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna grab a text plus and drag it onto our timeline. And as you can see here, I'm gonna use Gotham Ultra as the text and we're just gonna type in shine text. Simple as that. And then I'll probably size it up. And then for some reason, Gotham Ultra doesn't really like to center it. So I'm just gonna center it. And then we're gonna go to the Fusion page. Okay, so first things we're gonna add is a glow. And then you're gonna do shift space and add another glow. Then we're just gonna add a drop shadow. Okay, so the first glow doesn't matter. Um, the second glow is where you'll be primarily working at. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first start off with a drop shadow. We're gonna turn our shadow strength basically all the way up. And then we're just gonna turn our drop distance to like right there. And then also turn the blur down to about 0.1. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna actually take this glow out just for purposes right now only. Um, this glow will be how the text will actually end up looking. So go in like this and just kind of really get a good look of glow effect that you want it to look like. I'm personally gonna do something like that. And then come back to the drop shadow and turn the blur up just a little bit and turn the drop distance even closer like that. Go back to the edit page, go to shading and go to number two, select the red outline, turn the thickness all the way up. And then all you have to do is literally just turn the color to black. Hit okay, go back to the text page and then now you should be able to mess with your glow to your liking. So I'm gonna do it there and then just turn it way down and you can get this cool shine effect already, but it's just not gonna be animated. So I like it right there. Now we're gonna add that glow back in and you guys don't have to worry about anything because what we're gonna do is with the glow one selected, we're gonna hit this circle, rectangle, whatever, mask, okay? And you can actually mess with the controls right here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna make it about yay big. Um, and then we're just gonna turn that soft edge up a bunch about right there. And then we're gonna turn the angle about right there and then kind of flow through it and see if you like the way it looks so far. Take this soft edge, make sure the soft edge is good. What we're gonna do is on frame 25-ish, we're just gonna keep it up here. We're gonna hit a keyframe on the center right here, and then we're gonna go about 60 frame, up to six, frame 60, probably even 65, and then we're just gonna bring this back down to like right here. Um, now, as if you could play that back, the reason why we leave this right here is because we're gonna, we're gonna add an animation here. So then it just goes through, right? That looks good as is, you could keep that, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually just drag and hold this and hit S on our keyboard and just take this one and drag it out just a little bit like that. Just curve your edges, simple and easy. Uh, make sure the shine is uh, away from the text so that it doesn't end up like right here. But to add a little bit of sauce, I got this free green screen of this Barkle on YouTube. So it just does that and then I'd end it right there. Come in here, if this is optional for you guys, just come into the Fusion page and hit Delta Keyer. Um, key out this, and it's gonna be a little bit pixelated, but you're just gonna add a glow behind it. Keep the glow how it is. And then we're gonna, right at the end here is where we're gonna add this sparkle. We might even add it just a little bit more ahead like that. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna size this down. We're gonna bring this to the top like that. Bring it all the way to the corner, just like that. In the title, and then we're just gonna turn the opacity down to about 57. And then now you have something like this. Super simple and easy. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double, we're gonna hold all of this, double click and hit a compound clip. We're just gonna create the compound clip. Now using the first link in the description, we're gonna use pre-animate. It's actually a plugin that I made, you'll find on my website as well. So you just come to effects tab and basically this is just gonna pre-animate it for you. So we're just gonna do the down up, place that on there. And as you can see, it animates it automatically for me. And then it also animates the whole thing up as well. Um, and that's the text effect right there, guys. You can kind of play around more with the animations if you want, add some magic zoom and stuff as well, but that is the, the plugin that ties it all together. That is gonna conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you have a great day. Peace out, guys.